Welcome to the monthly tech meet for the Rolls Royce Owners Club of Southern California. We're holding at my garage here, Ronnie's garage. Today we're going to be working on the Silver Cloud Fuse. Yep. As you can see, there's a little piece of wire. This is tinned fuse wire that, that blew. Now, a well-equipped car has this fuse wire spool that fits in the, in the, in the uh, fuse box there. So, if you look at this, you'll see that it has little copper or brass fold-over tabs. So you want to get your old wire out. All right. And if you look at your fuse holder, one side has got a chamfer and one side has a sh shoulder on it. See that? Mm. That's the side you want the fuse wire to be on. So the outer part of the folding tab, I call this right here the inner, and this is the outer. You want that up to be facing so that when you push it in, it gets squeezed. If you flip it around, it's going to open up on you and break contact. So what I do, this is my way, I don't know how Rolls-Royce does it, I start by going, starting here, and then I go in between those two tabs. I go to the top and then wrap around once and then come between them to that, full, that shoulder. See how that is? And then you go between these, around, and then back over. I like doubling it up because uh, it just uh, makes sure that I got a good, uh, good thinking. All right. So there's your rewrap fuse. And it's always good to make sure these are good and tight. All right? Don't worry about this extra stuff. You can trim it off if you like. And I always, I get resentments against customers that bring their cars in and these are faced away so you can't see the wire. I like to turn them so I can see the wire if it's broken or not. It doesn't matter. Except, Except that it's hard to look over this side. And of course. Oh, I'll give you this back. That goes right in here. There's a little slot over there. If you look at that right there. Okay. Now.